What's going on? My name's Justin from The Art of Repair, and we're doing it again. We're out here in the field. It's only a little bit drizzly today. It ain't so bad, you know what I'm saying? But that is your Netherlands weather. You never know. Could be shiny, could be rainy, could be cloudy. It's all a gamble till you get outside and get on your bike. But if you're from here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But with all that, look at this beautiful town that I am in. Can you guys guess where I'm at? Can you guys guess which shop I'm about to visit? Well, if you guessed telecombination, you'd be right. So let's head on over there and let's go on inside. Um, I will say that this place kind of gives me like a, like a Bob's Burgers feel. And, you know, not in a weird restaurant kind of way with weird cartoon-like characters, but more or less because I have always wanted a shop that was kind of like two levels, where the bottom could be my shop and the top I could live in or vice versa, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Either way, that's not what's actually happening here. But when I saw it, I was like, ooh, man, my little dreams are just floating along there. So with that being said, let's head inside. Let's see if there's anything that you can do in your shop to make it better. And if you see something, copy it. We're all friends here and we're all having fun. So let's head on inside. Let's do the thing. And let me show y'all what we got going on here. I will see y'all inside. All right, let's head on in here. If y'all see anything you like, feel free, implement it in your shop. There's all kinds of stuff going on in here. And there's something special that I wanna talk about here. And it's not all these cool cases. It's not these awesome little displays here. It's something special over here. Can y'all see what it is before I talk about it? Cause it's not that, not yet. Are you guys an award-winning shop? Cause these boys are, that's what I'm talking about. These boys are an award-winning shop. That is a legitimate trophy. They did not just make that and put it in here. I checked. <laughs> they even showed me they know what the deal is but you can see we got all the cool little accessories and stuff and you know something else i actually do want to talk about is over here it's not just this it's not just that it's actually this too and this is the point i'm trying to get at here there are a lot of repair shops out there that are basically purely repair they sell the accessories they have the good staff up front and everything they have all the stuff going everywhere and everything but what i'm not seeing are extra services. These are the things that actually get you ahead. These are the things that actually build up your bank account and they make your, your shop just successful. I was actually talking to these boys earlier and they are actually just now getting into the repair side of things. You know what I'm saying? Like this is actually more of just like a, like a telecom shop and they're doing super, super well with just the services. What does that tell you? That means that you can actually improve your entire business by adding more services in there. And what do I mean by that? I mean really anything else that you can offer your customer. And just as one example right now that I'm not really seeing anywhere in, in Europe or the Netherlands right now, this is the first time I've seen it, is actual insurance. Have you guys thought about, are you guys selling insurance in your shop? This is something that you could be actually, you know, what you said it's every month, right? Every month. Okay, so they're doing a subscription-based service. How much is it? Like 13, 20 something bucks a month for the customer? 13.99. 13.99, you tell me. 13.99 and you get a residual or something? For, you guys get residuals from it? I don't even know. I'm literally just asking them while we're making the video right now, but you actually get residuals from it. It's a cool service that you can offer. And that's just one thing. This whole shop has so many services. They'll even come to your house. They will get on the bike and come to you and help you out. Are you doing enough for your community? Just something to think about. Anyway, with that being said, I also noticed this the moment I came in and I know y'all are thinking, Justin, those are lame phones. Those are absolutely loser phones. What are you doing, Justin? Well, guess what? They still sell a whole bunch of these feature phones, and this right here is actually a service, too. You were telling me that uh, this is actually a service that you go set up in their home? Yeah. Well, look at that. A whole nother service they're offering that you could also be offering in your shop. So with that being said, I just wanted to kind of go through a little bit, show what they've got going on here and what their superpowers are, which I believe is services, and just to let you guys see what's kind of going on around here. If you see anything you like, Go figure it out, put it in your shop. I guarantee you, you're gonna have a better time and your bottom line's gonna raise. So with all that, we're actually gonna head upstairs for a second because I just said they are just now getting started with repair. You coming, boys? Let's do it. We're gonna go up the stairs of death because uh, these are pretty, I've noticed very steep stairs in the, ne <laughs> in the Netherlands. And uh, this is where all the magic happens. We got ourselves a nice little basic setup here and as everybody already knows, I didn't just come here to show off the shop. I actually came here to answer some questions for my boys. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and mic them up, get everything set up, and we're going to go ahead and get that question answered. So we'll see you guys in just a second. By the way, if you don't mind giving me a minute or two before we move on, let's talk for a second. My name's Justin from The Art of Repair, and I'd like to show off some footage from the repair course I'm currently doing in the Netherlands. 
It's a culmination of all my channel content plus unreleased techniques and knowledge brought together in a start to finish type scenario where I make sure you don't miss anything important and you learn the skills needed to grow as an electronics repair tech, be it in my level one or two course or even in my level two to three boot camp course. This right here, this is the art of repair course that everyone's been asking me about doing for the last few years. So, a little about the course. Like I said, there will be a level one and two course, which will cover the software as well as the proper staging and technique required to take apart and put together really anything you want. This basics course contains a surprising amount of fundamental level three training and science that I think that, you know, most other schools just kind of leave out. I'm putting it all in there because I believe in teaching repair through a level three lens. It's a pillar of the art of repair methodology. Now, I think more interesting to most of you will be my level two to three course, which overlaps the last class with a primer on aspects of level two repair that directly correlate to your level three skills. You will learn the hand skills needed to complete most of the soldering repairs you encounter, as well as truly understanding why I think my techniques are a true art form. Alongside turning you into a soldering artist, you'll learn enough electrical theory to get you around town and back out again. You will be surprised how far understanding a few simple concepts will fully change your repair game. Honestly, I can't even wait to teach these courses because it allows me to be my authentic self and share with the repair community. I really hope to see- All right, so we are sitting here and we've been having these chats all day, having a good time today, talking about everything under the sun. And I came here today for a very specific reason, to basically answer whatever questions you guys have. But y'all had one special question that I think can help a lot of people. What have you got for me? Uh, the question is how we get our repair to the next level. Oh, okay. So when I came in here, just like I always do, I basically, try to lift every single stone in the business and try to figure out what's going on here. Well, there weren't a lot of stones to lift here because they've kind of had this thing automated for about six years. It's been, it's been kind of smooth sailing for you guys. Um, but you know, with that repair is always one of those things where you can take it to the next level. And you know, that's what they're here for today. So we kind of, if you want to like check out the room here, we actually got the little basic setup over here right now, but I think you guys know what I'm about to say, what we're about to talk about. We actually went through a lot of the basic level uh, level two fundamentals today, and we had a lot of fun with it, but we also talked about a lot of money bags that were left outside your building today. Yeah. We talked about consoles. We talked about we talked about doing all kinds of different things for the community members beside you, like if you've got shops next to you, and these are all things that you realize that you're kind of leaving on the table today, and they're part of that next level. And what does that mean, guys? That means, y'all know I'm going to say it, getting a microscope. That means actually getting in there and learning how to do these hand solder jobs because I've been, I have literally been screaming about it to everybody, but this wall is coming and there it's, it's going to be flooding. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're not going to be able to do repair without micro soldering coming in the future. You see what I'm saying? So for them, I've definitely recommended that they try and, you know, pursue that a little bit more, at least from a scalable work standpoint. Okay. Um, I don't think that it's within everybody's purview to jump out there and start doing, you know, business to business, board level repair, where you're, you're doing advanced diagnosis. That's not what we're here talking about today. What we're talking about is scalable work. Um, earlier, we had, me, me and my boy here, we actually went down and we had this little walk around town and we kind of just talked about tech things. And, you know, during that whole, you know, talk and stuff, we talked about some of the stuff that you guys were missing. And a lot of it is scalable work. What is scalable work? It's scalable work, I guess you could also call a signature issue, things that we see all the time, things that are easy in, easy out. If you're doing level two repair right now, that's iPhone screens, that's iPhone batteries. Right. But if you're looking to get to that next level, yeah. you're looking at doing HDMI ports, you're looking at working on Nintendo switches, doing the charging ports, you're looking at actually fixing things that you've accidentally goofed up on your own, or maybe even things that down the street or one of the shops next to you has messed up, where you can easily fix it because it's a physical job. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that, I do think that that is kind of the next step here. And you know, one thing that I really try to get across to people is that you know I always harp, and again, I'm always poking, poking, poking at this level three thing. But what people don't realize is there's a lot of things that you can do to get ready for this. And that's something else we talked about today. 
and they have been getting ready for this by practicing their level two stuff but we went over some more stuff today and those specific things are actually transferable skills okay and part of getting to the next level is how do you get to the next level and i think that's actually the most important part of this little discussion we're having today how to get to that next level so let's say for instance i say guys here's a big list of stuff go buy it now you're thinking okay justin what do i what, what do i do with all this yeah, stuff because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of the question yeah, we yeah, had today you know yeah. like what do we do with this you know I know that, you know, you guys know that I'm going to be doing courses and stuff, but I may not be here when you guys have your stuff. I mean, no. it, it's it's not always easy to try and figure out how to get to that next level on your own, even if you know exactly what tools to buy, right? Yeah. So one of the things that I wanted to tell you guys today, and this is what we did talk about earlier, but I think it's important that everybody listen, is that once you get your microscope, once you get your hot air and your soldering iron, that you are applying this to every single type of repair that you can. You can use a microscope and some BGA knife tools to actually do some level two repair. You can use it to, to go in and you release flex cables. You can, you can go through and examine the work that you're doing in a microscope and understand it at a deeper level. These types of small actions, being able to, to take your hot air station and work in the microscope as you would on a board repair, even if you're just emulating stuff that you see online, is giving you like a like a feel yeah, in the microscope feel, yeah. that regardless of whether you're doing level three repair, I know if y'all know about that wax on, wax off, you get what I'm talking about. Somebody's gonna come in the room and boom, you hit them right in the throat and they didn't even know what was going on because you already knew how to do it through other actions. So it's not enough just to buy the stuff. If you wanna get to the next level, you have to implement all of that gear directly into your level two work. That way, as you're studying, as you're learning, even if you're just doing stuff online through YouTube, you're able to accurately move it over and get those hand skills. And I think if you wanna to get to the next level, that's how you're gonna do it. You take level two, you make it level three, and you start trying to do things through the lens of a level three technician. And you know, that's something that I've been trying to talk about a lot, ladies and gentlemen, is looking at repair through a level three lens, even when you're just doing level two. So that's kind of the, that's, that's my answer for what you guys have going on today. Um, but I'm actually really curious, how was y'all's day today? Did y'all learn anything fun? Because I'm going to tell you guys, we talked about a lot of stuff today. It was, this is just like one little baby topic out of like 150 that we had today. What do you guys think about today? Uh, we got uh, uh, a lot of tips mm -hmm. uh, how to improve and the main uh, story was it's not difficult to uh, get from level two to level three because it's the same on thank the you <laughs> thank you it is the exact same thing level two i didn't say it he yeah, said it yeah. level two and level three are the exact same thing treat them as basic and it's all going to be basic what about you, man? You got anything fun from today? It was a really long uh, day. A really, really, really much fun. It was really nice to, to get here. And um, uh, yeah, you you're it's 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 you say it. It's an easy way. You you look some. Uh, we have not the enough uh, tools now. Did that stop me from doing a board repair here? Yes. It did stop me? Oh no. 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 <laughs> you did stop there. You're with with the tools we have. You look at it here, it's possible. You get right. small things of it, and it is, it's now it's possible. And how, it, yeah, it's really nice to see. So, just to kind of clarify, we were talking a bit about you know what you can and can't do. We were actually trying to diagnose a, a Samsung over here, and you know we had no multimeter, right. we had no this, we had no that. But you know we're still trying to go through the motions through my eyes as a level three technician. And you know we were sitting here talking about it, and they do have a hot air gun, so you know. One of the things for me is just not just to tell these fine gentlemen here, yeah. hey, this is no. easy. Did you know this was easy? It's yeah. easy. You yeah. can do anything. I showed them. I literally took something right in front of them with no microscope, no anything. And when it, when that component came off and everything was absolutely beautiful, I could see it in their faces. They were like, oh, wow, yeah. that is easy. That's not a big deal. <laughs> no, and uh, uh, working precise. Yes. That's very important. One hundred percent. Yeah. So with all that, is there anything that you would tell people in Dutch? Because I know the English is yeah. not your first language. If there's anything you want to say to people directly in Dutch, where you can just get it right across to them, let's go ahead. Let's get it out there. What do you got? 
Ja, het is niet moeilijk om uh, van level 2 naar level 3 te gaan. Um, het is precies werken. Het, ja, het vloeit in elkaar over. Alleen je werkt met grotere onderdelen op level 2 en je gaat naar level 3. Dat wordt allemaal fijner werk, maar je kan uh, veel meer kansen krijgen en je kan veel meer werk houden zelf, uh, omdat je het niet af hoeft te schuiven. Ja, en door de, door de juiste tools te hebben, ja, is, het ook, uh, is het ook eigenlijk goed te doen. Dat is ook gewoon uh, heel erg belangrijk. Well, I don't know Dutch, but I'm just going to assume that they finished what they were talking about. <laughs> um, anyway, I feel like we kind of covered everything in this specific question and kind of showing off the shop and everything like that. I really just want to say thank you for letting me come by. Thank you for inviting me because this is me living thank my you. dream. And, yeah, yeah. you know, I just had a really yeah. good time today. And I'll be honest, one of my favorite things is when I get to a town, especially somewhere in the world I've never been, And one of the first things they want to do is show me around town. My boy right here yeah. took me out. We had a good old time. We're just walking around. Look, the sign of a good repair shop is this one thing. As you're walking around and you're in your local community, you have to be recognized by at least one person. This man, gets, yeah. somebody is literally yelling out the side of the truck, hey! <laughs> and we had ourselves a good little conversation. So with that being said, um... I will catch y'all next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video. Everybody share the video. Have a good time. And uh, make sure y'all check out the next video. As far as I'm concerned, this tour is never going to stop. I'm going to travel the whole world. We're going to visit everybody. And uh, I guess I will catch y'all next time.